Hi, I'm Vivia Gugnani. I used to be a venture capitalist, and now I'm an entrepreneur. I made a leap over the dark side, and there's no turning back. I run a culinary media brand called Behind the Burner, which you may have seen in the American Express commercial. I also recently launched a company called Send the Trend, which is the eHarmony of fashion accessories. And I work with two other partners to launch that brand. Uh, people always ask me, because I was a VC, the first thing that comes to mind, now that I'm an entrepreneur, is how do I get VC financing for my business? And my answer 99.9% .9 of the time is, you probably don't need VC financing for your business. I think it depends what stage of your company you're in, whether you're in the idea phase and you're working out your business plan, or you have launched and you're trying to grow, or you're generating revenue and you're just trying to build. You really need to understand what your company is and how big you want it to be and what your end goal is and then kind of think through how much capital you're going to need to do that. So is this something that can be funded with $10,000? Is it something that needs, you know, $15 million? If it's $10,000, then friends and family is where you should be going for. Um, if it's, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars, maybe reaching out to angels or an angel network or presenting it in an angel forum is the right route for you. If it's a large capital need, maybe venture capital really is the ultimate goal for you. But you need to really think through a million times yourself is, am I ready for it? Because the second you take that leap onto becoming a venture-backed startup, just remember, you're going to have reporting requirements, you're going to have to fill out a board of directors, you're going to want to have advisors. It's a completely different level of organization and you need to be ready to reach that level of growth and to manage that growth because it's a challenge in and of itself. There's a lot of great things that the money can do, a lot of great relationships that VCs can bring to the table, a lot of positive things to come out of that relationship, but you need to be ready for that. The first thing you should do is put your money where your mouth is. Start the business with your own money and see where it goes.